Om Namah Shivaya. Okay, now we are full. We can continue. <coughs> it's hot uh, in Ganesh for now for people watching the videos. It's live. It's hot. And how much? 35? 35? 35. But with the forest, not so great. But anyways, now in the hotel was very nice. Very nice. Oh, no, it's nice this place. It's a bit of fun. Okay, it's hot in there, but not so intolerable. At least here in the city, I suppose that. But with a lot of trees around, it's not so intolerable. I was expecting a hammering, I told you before, yes, all of you, getting hammering the chain between Moscow and Ganesh where it's 40 degrees. Now in Moscow is minus one, I would say. Minus one. <coughs> okay. The good thing, my flame is gone. Because in Moscow all the time I have a lot of flame in my throat. Here no. <laughs> the heat removes all the flame. Because the flame uh, increases with cold and humidity. So it's hot. It's so that's why I never suffer from uh, any respiratory sickness in all my life. Yes? But uh, in Moscow, no, no pneumonia yet. But probably with the flare, with the bread, and it's all many people like it. Yes? Because the weather very cold, very cold and humid. So it's very nice. But over the years, but <clears throat> that's why I have vacation in a hot place. It's very healthy. And um, okay, and the hot places, uh, the problem, the, the according to the doctor, yes, the blood pressure increase in hot, in hot uh, weather, and in cold. For me, it's better cold because it reduce, it decrease my blood pressure. Okay, aphorism twenty three. I commend Sanskrit to spice up yes, the hard study of Sanskrit. Maheshwara Am Bama Veti. What is Am? Yes. Ma, no. Sanket is very simple. Am, Ma. Am is because in reality in Sanket they don't have a formal yes. It's very mysterious. Because Am means verily, indeed. Yes. But they use like yes. And Ma, eh, no. Ma, yes, is real no. But no, nothing like, a, I don't know, the technical name, conjunction or something. For example, this is not like this. No, no. It's ma is no imperative. It's don't do it. It's no. This is ma. Maheshwara am ba ma veti bhavena namanyate pitu am cha ma cheti. It's very clear. So am ba ma is yes or no? Va is or. Am chama, yes and no. Now I will elucidate this. I elucidate this. The great Lord thinks not in terms of yes or no, but in terms of yes and no. First sentence. Maheshwara. Paramashiva amba ma veti bhavena vritya na maniate pitu am cha ma cheti. There's some synonyms. The great Lord, Paramashiva, obviously, thinks not na maniate, thinks not in terms of yes or no, but in terms of yes and no. For example, <clears throat> a little example next, another example here. You are a liar. You are liars. Yes. You are not liars. Yes. Yes. So, how to say? You are liars. Yes. You are not liars. No. So, you are a mixture. You are liars sometimes. You are not liars sometimes. So, this is the viewpoint of God. The viewpoint of the limited person is a person with the mind, limited mind. Is yes or no, like right or left? Situation of yes. Hmm? Situation of yes. Situation of yes. What is this? Translate. Situation. Depend on the situation. 
situation. Ah, situation, very strange. Depends on the situation, and yes, for example, sometimes you lie, sometimes you don't lie. So you are not full liar, or you are not full truthful. This is yes or no, and no. But the common mind, yes or no. Do you love me? Yes or no. Sometimes I love you, sometimes I don't love you. Sometimes I'm indifferent. Yes. This is bad, sounds bad. So they want yes or no. They don't tolerate God. Yes, it's very, very hard. Tatahi shishyo yama satyabadi va satyabadi veti vipati mira sankulo naramaniate yo navarata pujar hastu vivava prakashali vimaleshwaro maniate shishyo yama satyabadi kada chicha satyabadi kada chichete. Evidently, when I wrote this, I was competing at it. But, well, for example, the limited individual crowded with misery and darkness thinks this disciple is either a liar or a truthful person. However, the Immaculate Lord, who is worthy of incessant reverence and who is full of glory and light, thinks this disciple is now a liar and now a truthful person. This is it. So, this disciple, I am Shishe, is either a Vai, is a liar, a Satyavadi, is a person saying a Satyas, yes, lies, not Satya, no, not truth, yes, something is not truth. Or a truthful person, a Satyavadi, but he is uh, speaking, speaking something, it's truthful. This limited individual is crowded with misery, yes, and might uh, be bad, and darkness, timid, things like this. However, the Immaculate Lord, yes, Bhimaleshwara, who is worthy of incessant reverence, yes, Anabharata Puja Arha, is Arha, Arha is uh, worthy, it deserves. That's why Arha. The, in Sanskrit, you use Arha to communicate the sense of. You are not a scholar? Oh my God. Uh, please. And you have to use a uh, deber arg to deserve, to be worthy of, worthy of, uh, with the infinitive of a verb. So, uh, for example, um, arhami, I deserve. Arhasi, you deserve. Arhati, he deserves. So if I want you to leave, I, if I had to tell you, please, leave, yes, leave, I had to tell you, tuam, tiaktum, to leave, infinitive, final tum, infinitive, exactly. The verb tiaj, tiaj plus tum, j transform into k, yes, so tiaktum, tuam, you, tiaktum, to leave, arhasi, deserve, you deserve to leave. This is please leave. It's polite. So the verb are is very, very, uh, how is it, important to soften the phrases. <clears throat> I know that I already knew it, but what I wanted to. <laughs> the face. And uh, so this Lord, yes, Anabarata, yes, incessant reverence, is worthy of incessant reverence, Anabarata, Puja, yes, reverence. Puja is worship and reverence too. From the verb, Puj, to worship, to do a reverence. And who is full of glory, yes, he is a Vibhava Shali, yes, Shali, Shalini, woman, Shali, masculine, Shalini feminine, Shalin neuter. He's full of when he's at the end of a, com a compound word. Full of vibhava, glory. And light, prakasha. It's prakasha vibhava. Prakasha vibhava? No, vibhava prakasha shali. Things, maniate. This disciple, Ayan Shisha, is now kadachit, yes. A liar, a satyabadi, and cha cha, yes, repeat cha cha is. And by repeating general two times. Now Kadajit, a truthful person. So when you cultivate this attitude, yes, when you 
stimulate this attitude, yes, of yes and no, you start to move, to, to enter into the frequency, the frequency of the Lord. When you stimulate the opposite, the frequency of uh, yes or no, you descend yes, to lower levels. And you go crazy, because most of sin in this world are yes or no. It's like saying, I dislike India, yes. No, you don't dislike India. What you dislike, for example, is a, a, a number of Indian people. Other people you don't dislike. Ah, well. Or I dislike British, yes or no. You dislike uh, this group, but not this group. You understand? So all the time it depends on who. It's not, you cannot generalize. It's something like this for you to understand. You stimulate the, the thought that uh, all the time generalize, and yes, I dislike, or I like, or I dislike, so no. It's more ignorance, more bondage. And the price of bondage, even if you have a very nice life, yes, you will pay at the end. The price of bondage and ignorance is very, very high, very, very hard. It's something terrible. And you see people around, you can, you can see yes, the price, how high it is. It is. And it's not a joke, it's not something, uh, it's something absolutely terrible. The pain, the suffering, all the, before this, yes, I know, the previous phases before this, is terrible. In general, it's terrible. So, uh, you don't want to pay that price. No. So, when you are young, yes, you have a happy life, you sing well, born. What is born? I'm happy. But uh, when you grow old and you start to the process of final death, yes, and it's very hard, very hard, the pain in the body, the, the suffering, the mental suffering, because uh, you will leave your family, you're attached to your family, to your son, to your child, to, to your daughter, your wife, your parent, your dog, all this suffering, yes, because you're attached and the power of God will remove you from this. The suffering is an imaginary. And you can see this around. So you don't want that. You are wise, you don't want to follow in their footsteps. You know. Aphorism 24. Parabhaira by yoga atmo palab hir mukti samanartha bandhan moksha praptau. Self-realization in Parapairava Yoga is synonymous with liberation in the sense of getting freedom from bondage. Another definition of liberation is, and, uh, is self-realization, at Mo Palavdi. But not self-realization in the sense that the inner self, for example, you, you are in blissful only when you are meditating, yes, internally meditating, you are introverted. Because in philosophies, in general, they understand the term atma like the inner self, yes, the antaratma, the inner self. But uh, self realization here means not only the, the, the inner atma, but the shiva, but shiva, yes, the, 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 the macrocosmic self too included. So liberation is when he shares his freedom with you. So you can see all like him. Constant. This is liberation. You are one with him only inside, yes, and when you open your eyes, you start to suffer again. This is not liberation. This is only a phase before liberation. <clears throat> it's an important phase, yes, but it's only a temporary phase. It's not final. <coughs> you are very cold. You won't. No, my wife is no, no. getting frozen. It's okay? Okay, now we have, we have a, it's light, this is, hello. We have air conditioner because the temperature, but you know, air conditioner and healthy too, so. <clears throat> some shawl for her, you have some shawl? Uh, my shawl, you have my shawl, it's very warm. You have my shawl? Yes, yes, yes. And next you sneeze a lot when you sleep, so turn it up. <laughs> it's for this. It's for me to sleep well. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, the, the, the least thing we need here is a cold, so a flu. <clears throat> we need to be healthy for all these.
program we are carrying now. Um, okay, this is live TV, so all these situations. Um, first sentence. Para Bhaira Bayoga, Atma here, Atma Ka. Yes, all the time Upalabdhi, yes, realization, yes, very usual. So memorize this word, Upalabdhi. Para Bhaira Bayoga, Atma Upalabdhi, Atma Kya, Tir, Mukti Samanartha, Mochana Tuliartha, Vandan, Moksha, Praptau, Dasatwa, Nirgamal, Hape. Self realization, Atma, Atma Upalabdhi, or Atma Kyati. It's the same. Kyati and Upalabdhi. O Atma Kyati in Parabhairava Yoga is synonymous with liberation or emancipation in the sense of getting freedom from bondage. That is, in the sense of getting away from servitude. Now, self realization, Atma, Atma Upalabdhi or, or Atma Kyati. In Parabhairava Yoga, yes, Parabhairava Yoga is synonymous with, yes, Samanartha. Tuliartha, Samanartha, yes, the same Artha, the same meaning. Samana Artha, the same Artha. Or Tuliartha is the synonym. Liberation or emancipation, yes, Mukti or Mochana. Mochana is liberation. And Moksha is liberation, yes. But I put different liberation and emancipation to differentiate the words. Mukti is liberation. Moksha liberation, Mochana liberation. All, all, all these, ver uh, these uh, words come from the verb muk, moch, much, <laughs> much is a verb. Uh, if you see a word with o, in, at first, in general, come from u, in general. In the sense of getting freedom, yes, moksha praptao is in the sense of moksha prapti, of, of, of getting prapti, getting, yes, moksha, getting freedom, uh, liberation, from bondage, bandha, yes, from bandha, bandha is bondage, that is, in the sense of getting away, nirgama labhe, yes, to, 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 to get uh, nirgama, to get uh, away, in the sense of getting away, from servitude, yes, from, to be a dasa, to be a servant, yes. That's that one. You, you stop being a servant. You stop being enjoyed by this power and you start to be the enjoyer. Before liberation, you were enjoyed by your own powers. Yes, for example, the senses are enjoying you. The senses now are enjoying you. You see that you're enjoying with the senses, but no, they're enjoying you. And they are, by, by enjoying you, I mean that they are uh, cheating you. They are cheating you. Because they are not revealing the reality. But the senses of a liberated person reveal the reality. The wonder is the marvel. So he's the enjoyer. And not that the senses are enjoying him. Do you Mat yoga yes, in my yoga, Madhya yoga, and you, in your yoga, how to say in your yoga? Madhya yoga in my yoga, from mat, like you use in compound mat, because if you separate mat, what do you have? No. You want to say my yoga, my yoga, yes? Mama yoga, or mama yoga in this case, in my yoga. And uh, in your yoga, hmm? Tava yoga separated or Tuad yoga. Mad yoga ti gura shiva sutra sama sahamali ni vijaya swachandra rudra yamala di chatushastya vaita bhaira vaga maru perna vir bhavas. Bhavata stada nugrahada adi katada ti vyanja. Oh, I have to scroll. Ti vyanja bi e vyan. No, ti adi vyagyana mulaka adma graha nan shiva vyapti rupan muktirar tat samyag bakshamarne paurusha bauda gyane tiaktua tada prati maswatantria. 
Aramarna Laksharnam Nikila Shibai Katmya Arjanam Bandhan Moksho Bhavati. Oh, look at it. So I will translate all together and explain part by part. In my yoga, which is based on divine knowledge gotten from His grace appearing in the form of 64 non-dualistic Bhairavas revealed scriptures, such as Malini Vijaya, Swachanda, Rudra, Yamala, etc., along with the, the most secret Shiva Sutras, self-realization, Shiva Vyapti, a penetration into Shiva, is liberation. In other words, after having completely abandoned both ignorance about the self and intellectual ignorance, which will be described later, acquisition of full identification with Shiva, characterized by the act of taking delight in his unparalleled freedom, is emancipation from bondage. It's long. It's cold. Uh, there is something in it. I don't know why all the time sensitive. Um, okay. In my yoga, Madhyogi, which is based, yes, Mulake, yes, is the base in something. Divine knowledge, yes, Divya Jnana. Goten Adhigata, yes, Goten from his grave, from his Anugraha. Careful with the paper. Uh, I to clear my throat with water. Goten from his grave, from his Anugraha. Appear in this Anugraha, Avir Bhavata. Avir Bhavata comes from the verb Avir, avir Bhu, means to, to become manifested, is to appear. This uh, appearing in the form, this uh, his, his grace, in the form of 64 non dualistic Bhairavas revealed scriptures, uh, such as Malini Vijaya, Swachanda, Rudrayamala. The Shiva, at first, yes, he, he passed. Remember this story, yes, he passed the 92 tantras or, or agamas to the sage, what sage? Durvasas. Durvasas. And Durvasas uh, divide this scripture, yes, uh, into 64 uh, Bhairava agamas or Bhairava tantras, uh, 18 uh, Rudra, ta uh, Rudra tantras and 10 Shiva tantras or Shiva agamas. Shiva Agama, so Shiva Tantra, ten Shiva Tantra is completely dualistic. 19, 18 Rudra Tantras or Rudra Agama is a mixture of dualism and non-dualism. And 64 uh, non-dualistic Agama, so Tantra, Bhaira Bhagama. Um, Bhaira Bhagama, so he gave uh, this scripture to his son, yes, mental son, remember. Uh, the important son for us is Triambaka. Triambaka Aditi or something, I don't remember the file number. Triambaka Aditi. Triambaka is the, was the, the, the one bearing the non dualistic scriptures, yes, uh, spreading this knowledge. And uh, so the, this, uh, no, we are in Trikasha Vision, yes. Uh, Paravarava Yoga is based on Trikasha Vision. So it's, an, it's called to the northern Shaivism, yes, because in the, in the north of India, in the north of India. And the southern Shaivism is Shaiva Siddhanta. Uh, Shaiva Siddhanta took the 28 Agamas, Rudra Tantras and Shiva Tantras, 28, and Trikash Shaivism took 64. It's not that two, yes. It was like this, the, the, the spreading of this knowledge. And uh, the most important Agamas for uh, Trikash Shaivism, yes, out of these 64, are uh, in the first place, according to Abhinavar Gupta, Malini Vijaya Tantra or Malini Vijayotara Tantra. <coughs> uh, according to me, Swachanda Tantra. This is my opinion. And in second place, according to Abhinavar Gupta, Swachanda Tantra. Yes, I really didn't say, I don't, I don't remember he said this. No, he said only Malini Vijaya Tantra, but uh, in my opinion, Swachanda Tantra is more important. And Malini Vijaya Tantra. 
And third position, Rudrayamala is Tantra. Rudrayamala is very famous, yes, because the, the Paratrishika is Paratrishika. The, the, and what other Tantra is included in Rudrayamala? Vigyana Bhairava. Uh, I was reading about this, and because in general they consider Vigyana Bhairava like an independent Tantra, but in the end it's part of the Rudrayamala Tantra. Rudrayamala, what's the meaning of Rudrayamala? The couple Yamala of Rudras, Shiva Shakti, the couple of Rudras. And uh, Paratrishika, famous part, yes. Abhinavaguta wrote uh, Vivarana, yes, a full explanation, exposition about this part. The most, is the Paratrishika Vivarana, the most difficult scripture in Trika. What's the main uh, topic in uh, Paratrishika Vivarana? One word. Shivano, it's not so simple. Mantra, the main topic. Um, so, appearing in the form of 64 non dualistic Bhairavas, Bhairavas revealed the scriptures, such as Malidi Vijaya, Swachanda, Rudrayamala, along with the most secret Shiva Sutras. So, Shiva Sutras is a tantra. But secret. In, in it, or by it, yes, uh, Shiva revealed the, his most esoteric teachings. And it's an easy vehicle, yes, to liberation. Because it's short, because you don't have to swallow Malini Vijaya, very big, such and Tantra, with the, the how, how to say, the masterpiece, yes. Commentary by Kshemaraja, yes, Swachando Diyota, yes. Long, yes, but I, I like to read long texts like this because I enjoy yes, Sankit and scholarship. But for other people, not as non scholar, it's very hard, yes, to read all this for liberation. But in Shiva Sutras, obviously not alone, yes, Shiva Sutras endowed uh, Upetam, yes, uh, how is it? Upetam in Sankit, Upetaha, Upetam, is uh, accompanied by. Accompanied by the Vimarshini commentary by Shemaraja. Well, with this scripture, Shiva Sutra Vimarshini, you have liberation there. Simple way. Yes. Simple, obviously, very difficult, but it's simple in comparison to the other method. Anyway, Shiva Sutra Vimarshini is uh, spiced up a lot, yes, by Shemaraja all the time with quotes from Tantras, Swachanda Tantra, especially because he wrote uh, Anetra Tantra, because he wrote. These commentaries about Swachanda Tantra and Netra Tantra. Swachanda Udyota commentary and Netra Udyota. What is Udyota? Netra Udyota. No. It's a illuminating. Illuminating. Illuminating from Udyut. Illuminate. Um, let me check. Maybe I'm kind of drunk, yes, but in my opinion, Udyota is illuminating. Double D. Double D? Yes, I suppose. Udiota. Ah, yes. Double D. Shining, blazing, light, luster, revelation, effulgence, splendor, flashing up, shining, the act of flashing up, becoming bright or visible, revelation. It's a kind of revelation, illuminating. It's an illuminating commentary. It's a re re revealing commentary. On the very Udyuta said, maybe check. Udyut, to blaze up, to shine. Ah, look at me. Well, I'm not so old. Um, so, what other Tantra, Netra Tantra, we said, yes, because I include only Malini Vijaya, Swachanda, Rudrayamala. What other Tantra, apart from Netra Tantra? What other Tantra? Kaularna, but no. No, maybe it's included, but uh, I had to analyze this, but it's not, it's more Shakta, more... I don't remember if it's part of the Vaira Bhagavad. I need to check this, I need to check. I need to go to the full list. What other Tantra? Famous Tantra. 
Naishwasya. Naishwasya Tantra. Caemos. Es por si va en compra. And eh, Sachanda Tantra es el Big Tantra. Yes. And Neta Tantra is bigger or smaller? Neta Tantra apparently is, eh, Swachanda is the Tantra of the Swachanda. Swachanda is the free one, yes, Shiva. The free one is Swachanda. And Neta Tantra apparently is the Tantra of Netra. Netra in Sanskrit means I, 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 one eye. So people say, well, it's the Tantra of the eye of Shiva, it's the third eye of Shiva. No, it's not. Netra is an uh, abbreviation of Niyantrita. Um, Niyantri Taranam Trayate, or Hiprotex or Tranam, you can say. It's the, the Tantra which protects the Niyantritas. The Niyantritas are the restricted ones. The restricted ones are the people in limitation, limited people. So this Tantra protects the limited people. Yes, so they, they, this Tantra gives liberation to limited people, protects them. After all this talk, and the microphone is off, as imagine. And I had to repeat all. Um, Shiva Sutra, so it's crucial, it's crucial for self-realization. Self-realization, remember, it's not a, a Atma Vyapti, it's only realization inside. No, it's Shiva Vyapti. A penetration into Shiva. Yes, you open your eyes and you see Shiva all around. Yes, you see the marble. Yes, you see yourself in every object, in every person. Shivabhyapti. Self-realization is liberation. In other words, after having completely abandoned both ignorance about the self and intellectual ignorance, we'll speak about this later, yes? which will be described later. It's these two aspects of Arnavamala I was speaking before, yes? when Shiva feels that he's, he became many, yes? many Shivas, many beings. And the when the, you, the body, you consider the body, prana, etc., like you, yes? is a intellectual illness, will, which will be described later, acquisition of a full, of full identification, which Shiva characterized by the act of taking delight in his unparalleled freedom, is emancipation from bondage. This is emancipation from bondage, Shiva Vyakti. When you see all like, like you, all is you. This is the, the, the bliss you receive in this state is Jagadananda, the bliss of seeing unity in all the universe. Hmm. This is acquisition of full identification with Shiva, characterized by the act of taking delight in his unparalleled freedom. Yes. Because through his freedom you can you can enjoy this universe like you. He said. He, he, you don't attain his freedom, it's not real liberation. It's maybe a little before. You have to wait a little more yes, for liberation to come complete. Okay. Some break, five, ten minutes, ten minutes, yes. Rest. We have a good speed, 24, good speed today. So in a few days we can finish. Ten minutes break. Yes, T, something. Let's look at it. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Aphorism 25. Bandho Bhavati Yadasa Evam Ichati. Bondage occurs when he wishes so. I repeat again other topic before to reaffirm knowledge. First sentence. Bandho dasyam bhavati vartate yada sa evam evam itam ichati vyavasyati. Bondage of servitude, yes, to be a servant, a curse takes place, yes, vartate, when he wishes so. That is when he decides in this way. <clears throat> Banda, 
bondage that's a servitude when he wishes ichati evam evam ichati he wishes so or when he decides vyavasyati itam like this second sentence ashesham sambit purnananda purnananda maya swatma hritaya samavishansa samavishansa sahasa swachaya cha nanascharya prakare ranatmanam bandhum vyavasyati mahati vishwes min vismaya kara sada shiva dyalpat Majantu Parianta Sarva Bhuteshu Puna Puna Swam Bodun Mahachamatkara Nu Pavar Tammeva. While totally absorbing the core of his self, consisting of pure consciousness and perfect bliss, he, all of a sudden, and of his own will, decides to bind himself in multiple wondrous ways only for the sake of experiencing the great amazement of perceiving himself over and over again in all the beings from wonderful Sadashiva down to the minute, min, minutest, 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 minutest creature in this huge cosmos, cosmos. So while totally absorbed, yes, ashesh and samavisham, yes, it's, it's, sam, it's completely in samavesha, in absorption, completely absorbed. Because samavesha means avesha, sam. Sam adds intensity. It's the prefix sam. And avesha, avesha is penetration, penetration, intense penetration, absorption. Samavesha is a synonym uh, with uh, samadhi. The same. It's more usual samavesha than uh, samadhi in Chinese. So while totally absorbing, yes, in what? In hridaya, it's in the core of his self, swatma hridaya. And this core of his self consisting of pure consciousness and perfect bliss. It's Shiva Shakti. Pure consciousness and perfect bliss. He the Lord, all of a sudden, Sahasa, and of his own will, Swechaya, decides, Vyabhasyati, to bind, yes, Bandhum. This is the, there is a tomb there, because it's infinity, but hidden. This guys oh, dress up like doom, but it's a tomb, original tomb. When you grab the, the, the root, band, and add tomb, you create this word, Bandhum. To, so decide but to bind himself in multiple wondrous ways. It's nana scharya prakarena. It's in multiple nana, wondrous, yes, wonderful, marvelous, we, ascharya ways prakarena. Yes. Prakara is way. Only for the sake, artam, of experiencing anubhava, yes the great amazement, the chamatkara, the mahachamatkara, of perceiving himself, swam bodhum, to perceive, but is bodhum, to per- is a, another infinity with tum, bun, but, but, tum, bodhum. Ah, to create this. And to perceiving, of perceiving himself over and over again, yes, punar, punar, Another uh, synonym of punar, punar, over and over again. Mukhur, mukhur. My memory serves me well. Mukhur, mukhur. Yeah. Again and again. Mukhur. This word is not very usual. The Kashai vision. Mukhur. Suddenly, in a moment, for a moment. Mukhur, mukhur. Now, now. Constantly, incessantly, now and again, muhur muhur, aha, again and again. So my memory is good. But it's not very usual in Shaivism, I don't know why. In the rules of Sandin on the website, I put a special rule for muhur. 
I can't remember about what, about Visarga, I suppose. Mujur, because original with R, when a word ends in R, in the letter Ra, in Sanskrit or R in English, uh, or in S, in Sa, uh, in the center in general change uh, to Visarga. But there is a rule with Mujur, I don't remember now. Check there in Visarga rules in the website. Mm, only for for this is to, to experience the great amazement. Why a great amazement? Because when you get liberation, you cannot believe it. You cannot believe it. You cannot, the contrast between your previous life and liberation is so massive that you cannot believe it. So it's amazement, surprise. Yes, is a, because chamat kara means the, 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 the act, the kara of chamat. Chamat is a, is a particular word in Sanskrit we use to express amazement. It's like chamat, chamat, chamat. Yes, when the yogi chamat, chamat. This uh, in Sanskrit it means like oh, 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 like this. It's a surprise, amazement. So the act of repeating chamat is chamatkara. It's amazement. But sometimes you don't translate chamatkara like the amazement. You translate it like the bliss of eye consciousness. Another translation in Trikashevism. Or perceiving himself, yes, over and over again in all the beings. This is Jagadananda. You perceive yourself in all the beings. Sarva Bhutesu. From what beings? From wonderful Sadashiva, yes, the Sadashiva Bhattaraka, the highest being, yes, in the creation, in the manifestation, down to the minutest creature, yes, Alpatama Jantu, the, mi the minutest Jantu, yes, little creature. In this huge Atimahati Vishwe, yes, in this huge cosmos, Atimahati Vishwe as meaning. Aphorism 26. Muktir Vartati Yada Sa Evam Michati. Liberation absence of bondage happens when he wishes so. So in the same way that bondage happens when he wishes so, liberation happens when he wishes so. This is disheartening for ego, yes, but it's real. Because ego tries to, to get liberation. Yes. First sentence. Muktir moksho vartate ghatate yada sa evam itam michati vyavasyati. Liberation or emancipation happens, occurs when he wishes so. That is, when he decides in this way. So it's like the previous aphorism, but with liberation, not with, not with bondage. Liberation, mukti, or emancipation, moksha. Both mean liberation, but I wanted to differentiate in English, yes? But both mean liberation, emancipation in the dictionary, but I want to differentiate in English and keep this uh, difference in or uh, how it's throughout the entire script. So this emancipation happened when he wishes so, when he decides in this way. Second sentence. Akilena swashaktya parimeya pradur bhavat makam swatma bahu murti Murti Dhara Bhavana Kriyardam Sama Vishansa Hasa Swechaya Cha Nana Sarya Nigarebhya Atmanan Mochitum Vyavasyati Sambit Purnananda Maya Kaswat Mantarantar Vishudharupam Swaswabhavam Punarapi Bodhun Mahachamatkara Nubhavartam Meva While totally abs again, yes. While total again, like before. While totally absorbed, yes. I only ch ch change some phrases. Yes. I put totally in the previous uh, assertion. Assertion samavishan. While totally absorbed, and in this aphorism, with liberation instead of instead of bondage, I put akilena. Yes, by the same. Akilena samavishan. While totally absorbed in the play of becoming many embodied, embodied beings from his own self, which, 
which the play is an imm immensurable manifestation of his power, he, all of a sudden, and of his own will, just like with bondage, decides to liberate himself from multiple and wondrous fetters, only for the sake of experiencing the great amazement of perceiving once again his essential nature in its extremely pure form within the core of his own self, consisting of, of pure consciousness and perfect bliss. So again, it's like a play, yes. He was playing to be many and now he's playing to return. So he's completely absorbed in the play of becoming many, yes. Becoming many, yes. It's only an appearance because he's only time one. Many what? Many embodied beings, yes. Many murti dhara, yes. Many beings having a murti, having a form of a body. All these embodied beings from his own cell are created. Yes. This play is an immensur immensurable manifestation. It's a parimeya. Yes, you cannot measure a parimeya. You cannot, you cannot uh, parima. You cannot measure anything. Remember that ma was the the root from for for to measure the verb to measure. Pradhur bhava. This manifestation. Pradhur bhava makan. Or this. Displays an immeasurable manifestation of his power. He, when he was playing like this, all of a sudden, Sahasa, and of his own will, yes, again, Swechaya, decides Vyavasyati liberate himself from multiple and wondrous fetters. Before was multiple and wondrous ways, yes to bind himself. Now is to to be free from multiple and wondrous fetters. Yes. Nanascharya Nigardevyaha. Yes. Only for the sake of experiencing the great amazement. Yes. For what? He's getting liberation from all these fetters. Only for the sake of experiencing for the great amazement, the great chamatkara of perceiving once again his essential nature. Punarapi. His Swabhava, his sexual nature, in his extremely pure Vishuddha Rupan, yes, in, his, in its extremely pu pure form, within Antar, the core Antara of his own self. Antara Antara. Yes. Of his own self. Consisting of pure consciousness and perfect bliss. So his own self is Shivan Shakti again, yes, pure consciousness and perfect bliss. Aphorism 27. Sarvat manan maheshwara sheshaikya bhavatvan nanat madvada pratyastishta. The theory of the multiple B selves is rejected because all the selves are completely one with the Great Lord. This is a famous theory. Appears in, in Pashupata Shaivism. Appears this. It's mentioned by Shamaraja. I remember very well this. Answer this. Here, this theory that there are multiple Shivas. Yes, but it's completely. Pratyadishta is completely re rejected. No, it's not like this. Why? Because all the self are completely one with the great Lord. Because if everything came from him, yes, and everything will return to him, in the middle, everything is him. Okay, why to make differentiation? They say everything come, come from him. Everything will return to him. And in the middle, Ah, we are different. No, it's bad reason. In the middle, we are him too. Because came from him, returned to him, so it's him, the middle. This simple truth is still, yes, not understood by billion people in this world. It's simple truth. You reason. Why? Because they are devoid of enough grace from him. Because he doesn't want in that person to, to
to be revealed. So that person can can suffer his or her life yes, for this mistake. First sentence. Sarvat ma nam akhilat manam maheshwara se shaikya bhavatvat paramatma samagraika tvat sattva na nat ma vada pratyadishto nirastaha. The, the theory is the Vada, the doctrine, theory, Vada, of the multiple selves, Nanatma, is rejected or refuted. It's Pratyadishta, is rejected or refuted in Nirasta, because all the selves are completely one. Sarvat manan akhilat manan ashe shaikya bhavatvat samagra ekatva satvat, because all the beings are completely one, yes because uh, all the beings are one with the Great Lord, that is, with the Supreme Self, Paramatma. Explanation. Bhakshamarnam malam yadyapi sarvabhutanam bhedi hitus tatha apyate nanabhutananat mana iti bhaktum na shakyate Shakyata id idrik malasya nikila swatantra chide kaghana rupai katma nirve nirvise shatwat. Although mala or impurity, which will be described subsequently, is the cause of the difference or duality between all the beings, yet it cannot be said that these multiple beings are multiple atmas or selves. Because such a mala or impurity is not different from the only atma or self who is one compact mass of consciousness in absolute freedom. This is reason. So, although yadi api, yes, so api, I translate it like although. You are, you are the only one. So you need to. Uh, yadi if, api even. So, even if, although. Although mala or impurity, yes, but remember, impurity in Trikasha vision is not something moralistically impure, yes, or not cor incorrect, or no, it's only a lack of unity. Something communicating ignorance is communicating lack of unity. So, al although mala or impurity, which will be described subsequently, yes, Bhakshamarna, is the cause of the difference or duality is the cause of Veda, duality between all the beings, between all the, the Buddhas, yet Tathapi. It's very usual to put Yadiapi with Tathapi. So even if yet Tathapi, yes, or even so, or so Tathapi, or yet, yet it cannot be said that these multiple beings are multiples, Atma or Self. Because such a mala or impurity is not different from the only atma or self who is one compact mass of consciousness in absolute freedom. Because mala is not separated from the self, from Shiva, all these beings, which are this, the, the product, the product of, of this mala, yes, are the, the Shiva too. So there, is, there are no multiple beings. Okay, now a little break, already half an hour, a little break and make the final 40 minutes, 40 minutes and we'll finish for today. We are very, very fast, 28 now already. So in five days I suppose that this speed will finish, except the other, the, the future of Forismo will stop us because they are very big. Aphorism 28 Bandhan Moksha Raptum Shakyate Yata Swayam Mukta Eva Liberation from bondage can be obtained because one is already liberated. It's very strange. 
so the person saying, well, if I'm already liberated, why I need to get liberated? To understand that you were already liberated. <laughs> this is a joke. Before liberation, you don't understand that you're already liberated. So you have to get liberation to understand that you were already liberated. First sentence. Commentaries. Bandhat da satwan moksho mukti praptum adhingantum shakyate yato yasmat swayan mukto moksita eva. With synonyms. Liberation from bondage or servitude can be obtained or gotten, yes, because oneself is already liberated or emancipated. So liberation, yes, again, moksha, mukti, yes, emancipation from bondage or servitude, bandhat, yes, dasatvat, can be obtained or gotten, yes, praptum, adigantum, shakyati, because yatas, yasmat, one cell, Swayam, is already liberated or emancipated. It's already Mukta, already Mokshita. Mokshita is a synonym with Mukta. Jivan Mukta, Jivan Mokshita. It's not usual, but it's a synonym. Second sentence, explanation. Yatha pratipadi tam para sutrena mukti reyadi chet Swayam swat 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 Tua vishista nasya deva tarhitam latva sa punastad viyuto bhavet yatha pala pala kavista ro kavista ro padha namuta gara samarjani pradipa dimeya matra narjitua swayam punarapi tatsarver nahino bhavitum shakno. As the next aphorism will explain, if liberation were not already of one's own, then having obtained it, one could lose it. Again, just as after acquiring mere external objects, such as a table, a chair, a cushion, a hammer, a broom, a lamp, etc., one can lose all that once again. So, as, yet ha. The next aphorism will explain, yes, pratipadita, and explain, para sutrena, yes, by the next aphorism. So the logic here is explained by the next aphorism. The next aphorism will explain. If liberation, mukti, were not already, nasyateva, of one soul, swayan, yes, swa tuavishista, yes, one soul, then, tarhi, having obtained it, one could lose it. Sahtad viyukta bhavet. Again, puna. Just as after acquiring arjitua, mere external objects, meya matran, such as a table, yes, a palaka. Palaka is table. A chair. A chair? Vista. <laughs> she didn't know this, palaka. Uh, because it, it is, we learn all the time this Sanskrit is so philosophical, yes, that we forget the casual Sanskrit, yes, the normal Sanskrit. So it is stable. Palaka, bishtar. A cushion, yes, upadhana. A hammer, yes, a mudgara. A broom, yes, a samarjani. Samarjani, can you imagine samarjani? What are you, what do you need, samarjani? A lamp, yes, a pradipa. That's why my name, Pradipaka, yes? You can translate my, my name in two ways. Pradipa, lamp or light. Ka is an affix with two meanings in general. Three, three meanings. One, adding the subject of the, of the noun. For example, Pradipa light, Ka, giving light, shedding light, yes? Pradipaka. Or adding the sense of mysterious. Pradipaka, mysterious light, mysterious lamp. It's strange. That's why matrika, mysterious mother, matrika. Or kanad, more simply, yes, kanad, the meaning of diminutive. Pradipaka, little light, little lamp. But obviously, the translation of my name is a giver of light or something like this. 
because mysterious life, very strange. How is the name? Mysterious life and Kopiti Gay is Little Lamb, is Little Lamb. Your name, Little Lamb. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, you understand? This is the mean of ca final cup. <clears throat> so, you put a um, for example, a, a hammer, a mudgaraka, a little hammer, a mysterious hammer. So, all these objects, yes, Pradipa, Samarjani, Mudhara, Upadhana, Vishtara, Palaka, you can lose again, yes, all that, but uh, you cannot lose your own self. So, you cannot lose your own self because it's you. So, if it's you, you don't need liberation, you are already liberated. This is the logic. You have to learn how to reason. If liberation or, or, or this, your own self is an object, yes, you get, you can lose. But you cannot lose your own self. You're a ham. Or I am, I am. You cannot lose this. So you're already liberated. But anyway, it, it's very, very impressive eh, that it's very real, this bondage. Well, this is the play. Duality is the play. Non-duality is the truth, well, this. But it's very real. Yes, it's real, it's completely real, but it's histirodana. And I will say something very mysterious that you need level to understand. All this, like this, you see like this, is uh, him. It's very mysterious. Like this. It's, no, it's him only. Not even a contraction of him, or it's very strange. It's him, so I'm touching Shiva, yes, I'm smelling Shiva. You taste your saliva, you feel your saliva. You are tasting Shiva. I have a candy, a candy Shiva, so I'm tasting him. Feel this. This is now, and when you get liberation too, it's the same. That's why when you get liberation, you realize that you already liberate. Because all this is him. Even if you live in a remote place and you think that you are completely isolated, no, all that there is him too. <laughs> it's completely incredible. That's why, but why all this suffering? Yes, it's a play. Why all this separation, this problem, all the things you need to learn to return and all this, and people in bondage, people never return. What is this, this crazy, this mystery, mysterious play? It's a lila kai, it's a mysterious play, or vihara kai, it's a mysterious sport, pastime of the Lord. So, nobody needs to come here to Ganeshpuri to, to attend the Lord, because everywhere, all the objects around you and you, all that is you, is, is, is him, you. So, people say, oh, I cannot meditate, I don't have time. But it's all is him. So how is that possible that you cannot meditate because you don't have time? If all is him. Even your lack of time is him too. This attitude destroys bondage completely. Other attitude, oh liberation is so far from me, oh so many years here. So this is no bondage. You understand? But uh, because if liberation is something different from you, so you can lose again. You can enter in bondage again. But no, you cannot return to bondage. But this is Shiva, all this. So you want to worship Shiva, it's like external object. Okay, you can worship any object and you will get Shiva. Warrant, because he's there, inside. His guys, just like this object. That's why this tradition of worshipping the Archa is famous, worshipping idols, yes, that the Western, the Westerner call all this like primitive, yes, this, but it's very real. If you consider an idol, yes, a form, Shiva, yes, Shiva will reveal to you in this form. It's very real. If for you works, okay, do it. Other people, it doesn't work. But not only an idol, even this mouth, yes. You consider him, this mind becomes divine, yes, and reveals Shiva. You worship, it's very strange. This is the real attitude. 
de Río Latino. I have a disciple with the Kriya, so it's very strange. Kriya is a purific purific purificatory, how is purificatory? Purificatory movement. So move the body. Um, so Muktananda, this example with the ball, he said, if it's the self is a ball, you can lose the ball or someone can steal the ball from you. But the self is you, so you cannot lose. Nobody can steal from you. So why not now? Why you have to wait for liberation? Why not now? And this is a mystery. Shiva is you, yes? Says, now no. This is when he wishes so. Bond disappear with this. No, 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 I cannot. Many limitations. No, look at me. This is your. Look at me. Look at my state. No, no, tolerable. Look at my mind. No, no, no. Maybe in many years. Maybe. This is your. Next, he says, okay, now. So, liberation. After liberation, you are the same. Because if you change, so you are, it's not human. It's very subtle knowledge to polish your interest, to remove this dross, yes, this dross, this thing in your interest. You know the meaning of dross? Double S, yes, dross. Yes, T R O S S. Dross. It's like in gold, yes. When they are uh, purifying God, they are how is eliminating impurities. This final impurity they remove is dross, the dross. So this is the dross in your mind. Yes, it's impurity. It's not pluralistic impurity. No, it's this thing, yes, generating duality again. Yes, this power there. It's not good for you. But it's your decision. One day, Shiva, imagine that Shiva is a guy like this. Enjoy and duality. But, why? but he suffered. But he not suffering at the same time, but he suffered. So again. But one day the guy, you know, this says, okay, okay, I fed up with family, country, world, uh, all. But I want to return to my, my nature. I don't want to suffer anymore. I said, I, this time, what is it? This is a disciple. He doesn't. Renounce family, God, uh, in the God country, where? No. He continued, but he's fed up. Yes? He said, okay, I, I reached the, the end of this. No more. It's like you are squeezing something, yes? No more water, yes? Just squeeze nothing else, yes? Just squeeze nothing else. So, family, yes, you squeeze a lot. Years and years of children, family, enjoying vacation, family, family. But there's a moment, 50, 60 years old. I won the whole, yes, all, ah, this is, uh, not only family, job, yes, I got already, I'm a billionaire, yes, I got already billion dollars, for what, yes, I ah, to buy more and more companies, and more and more and more and more and more, for what, all this, ah, for that, I don't want this, I won this, this I Shiva, Shiva is crazy yes, because Shiva knows, but at the same time he doesn't know what he needs. But he knows that it's not something materialistic. He needs some fullness. Yes. So at this time, this start to move. So Shiva appears in front of Shiva like a guru, a guru Shiva, and the disciple Shiva too. So all this is the, the, the story of Shiva. Yes, the crazy story that it's not human. So it's, you cannot understand with human para parameters, eh, because you, you understand why it was the point. And one day he realized that he Shiva, yes, and when he realized that he Shiva, he realizes too that he was all the time Shiva. Because he's only Shiva at the time of liberation, so what was he before, yes? Another Shiva, two Shiva, no, it's impossible, so it's the same. It's very subtle knowledge, very subtle. But this is the only way to destroy all this problematic, yes, ego, and this. It's not controlling, it's integrating. It's not mental control. It's accepting the mind as 
go di esa shiva. Ignorance in the person is that they think that the actions bind them. Yes, they think my actions bind me. If I do a good action, I will receive good fruit. If I do a bad action, I receive bad fruit. This is the, the, the and it's real. Yes, it's happened because they believe that the actions are affecting them. This is the illusion. But no action, no action is, is, is affecting you. Nothing. How is that possible? I will show you. Let me. Uh, I will say. Let me have some time with you, and I will show you. No action is affecting you. So how is that possible? Because it's mysterious. It's a mystery. Rahasyam. Because apparently it's affecting me. No. So one day you understand this is liberation. I know. This is the surprise. Nothing affected you ever. Ever. Completely. So what happened? It's a joke. The joke by Shiva. It's a joke on himself. He played jokes on himself. Um, you have to understand this, or you will lose uh, how is it? your nose. Yes, your compass will be like this, and you lose your nose. You are Shiva already, and this is a play. And your sadhana is a play. Don't go crazy, yes? thinking that the sadhana is killing Satan. No, no. It's a play. Satan in you, yes, this darkness you have, yes? For example, you are very dark. You are very dark. You are dark too. You, you more or less. You, well, you are uh, with Andakara, Andakara Murti, the personification of darkness. But the uh, angel, it was so funny. And, uh, all these are yes, all fighting Satan in me or some name, yes, the devil, or ego, horrible ego. No, it's him too. So you relax. You fight, but you relax. It's like a, it's like a play, yes. In a play, nobody loses because you play a video game, yes. If I imagine with the console, yes, with your friend playing there, yes, ah, da, 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 but nobody kills nobody. Nothing. It's only a play. Nothing else. This attitude will save you from depression and many problems yes, with your internal Satan, internal darkness, because it's him. When you consider like this, this darkness is removed. Cannot exist in, in the, in, when light is revealed. Cannot. It doesn't matter how much time darkness was in you. When the light is on, darkness disappears. This room, yes, for example, when it's closed, it's completely dark, and it can be dark for millennia. But when someone switch on the light, yes, all this darkness disappear. Even if this room was in darkness for millennia, that's a matter. So in this truth of Trikasha vision, yes, uh, through this Paravaita Yoga, is coming to you with this light. Yes, darkness cannot exist in you, and you have you need this attitude. And when you are alone, and when you lose your face, and many things happen around you, and this, you have to remember that she buys all this. How? Like this. Like this. Like this person crying, like this dead person there in the coffin or whatever they, they, they practice here in India. All this is him. So you escape. You don't say anything to anyone, yes, because they, they are playing the role of Shiva, Shiva, Shiva role there, yes. But you internally know the truth. So you escape from anguish, from sorrow for all this horror, yes, depression and all, yes, just get faster. Because nobody is affecting you. Nothing is affecting you. Aphorism 29. Yadi swayam matuna mukto nasyatsa muktim yatumna shaknuyad yastastam labdhwa sapunastad vijukto bhavet. If one were not liberated now, he couldn't attain liberation because after getting it, he could lose it again. So, return with the same example but in the aphorism, yes. <clears throat> First sentence. Yadi swayam madhu atune da nin mukto mokshito nasya bhavetsa muktin mokshan yatum gantum na shaknoyad yato 
If one, Swayan, were not liberated now at this moment, he couldn't attain liberation or emancipation because after getting obtaining it, he could lose it again. So, if Yadi, one Swayan, were not, yes, Nasiat or Nababet, yes, a synonym, liberated, Muktaha, Mokshitaha, synonyms, now, yes, Aduna, Idanim, yes, at this moment, the same, synonym. He, that person, could, could not, yes, Nasak Nuyat, attain Yatum, yes, or to go, he couldn't go to the state of liberation, he couldn't attain liberation. Yatum or Gantum, synonym. Liberation, Muktin, Moksham, because Yatas, Yasmat, after getting, obtaining it, Latwa, Arjitwa, Arjitwa, Tam, he, Sah, could lose, be Yukta, he, Nabhabet. Yet he could be devoid of, this is the logic in Sanskrit for to lose. To be devoid of, to be deprived, to be deprived of, to be without. This is to lose. So, after obtaining it, that person could lose again liberation, like I explained in the previous commentary. Yes, but now in the first second sentence, evamcha muktis tadakshaya swatantriya prapti bhavanti. Nityam sarva jana hasta gata tadyatha nasa nashta jatwa prameya twa pirta kakanduka vastra pada trara ta kundala tapaka ganta dia vishayatwa yasma danupam anupama pramodam vita ekarupat ma. Tesham mantah purna hantaya sarvabhutan tarvati varti. Oh, long. So, liberation being the achievement of his imperishable freedom is eternally the possession of everyone. Namely, it is never by no means lost, as it is not an object. That is, as it is not a thing, such as a box, a ball, a garment, a shoe, a carriage, an earring, a cooking stove, a bell, etc., since the same self endowed with matchless joy resides in all the beings, as they are in innermost perfect eye consciousness. So, evamcha, liberation, mukti, being, liberation, yes, bhavanti, feminine, yes. This is bhavanti is not a conjugation. What is this? It's not the conjugation, because the conjugation would be uh, poverty. He, liberation is. is uh, that's why I translate it like being, like Gerun, because it's a present participle from Bhu. You add uh, A, yes, Bhavat. But in the feminine, you are expecting Bhavati, but it's better to, to strengthen to strengthen the, this past participle with the end in the middle, so bhavanti, so she is, or she becomes, in this case, liberation, being, like Gerun, yes. So, liberation being the achievement, prapti, of his imperishable, yes, akshaya, yes, akshaya, freedom, yes, swatata, his, his imperishable freedom, this liberation is eternally nityam, the possession, the hasta gata. Yes, it's possession because hasta gata is all the time gata. Gata is gone, but gata in this case is uh, situated. Gata, two meanings. It's situated at hand, hasta. Hasta gata is situated at hand, you can grab. It's a possession. So it's, it, it's eternally the possession of everyone, Sarva Jana, of all the people, namely, because you can use Sarva like everyone, but in masculine. But if I put Sarva, uh, sarva in, ma uh, in the compound, the people won't see any different, different between Sarva in masculine, Sarva in neuter, somehow. So Sarva in neuter is everything. In masculine, everyone. 
But the compound is only sarva, no gender. So how to differentiate? So I add jana, sarva jana, everyone, all people. I remember all this subtlety when I was uh, writing. <coughs> uh, this is it, eternally the possession of everyone, namely. Yes, namely is uh, that is something like this. Yes, it's uh, namely. So I mean this. It's never by no means. It's nasajatu, lost, never nashta, never lost. As it is not an object, a pre, a pre, a pre, a It's not a prameya. That is, it is not a thing. It's not a vishaya, a vishaya to it. It's not a vishaya. It's not a thing. It's an object, such as, for example, a box, pitaka, a ball, kanduka, kanduka, a garment, bastra, a shoe, padatra. A carriage, a carriage is simple, yes, ratha. An earring, kundala, a cooking stove, tapaka, because uh, heat. A bell, gantha, gantha, etc. Since the same self, a karupa atma, yes, endowed, yes, with, so furnished with, yes, has this, this self who has this, much less joy is yes? anupama pramoda is yes? there is no joy like the joy of the self i assure you i'm completely convinced because i experienced it there is nothing like this even if you imagine what, what do you think that is the best joy in this world to have a lot of money what else cars yes that's it's comparable to it even but when you experience it's obvious when you don't experience, well, you know, but when you experience, so it. And uh, nothing, sex or, or fame, or, but money is first. Why money is first? Because in money you have sex, cars, and the rest. So money, the first thing. In this world, it's money is the first thing. In the kingdom of God, money doesn't exist. It's not important. Yes, because what it is, it's trivial. But in this world, money, money, money is the most important. With money, you have women, men, money, anything. Even if you are 90 years old, you have young women, young men, whatever you want, you have. And the only problem that you don't have is health, but the rest you have. Yes, but with money you can have a better quality of life too, yes, with money, money, money. In the kingdom of God, it's useless. It's like dying. You cannot go with all your dollars just to die, yes, and to car, which is useless. This tradition of put to the old tradition put two coins of silver or two coins yes to pay the to pay the ferryman yes crossing you over the the, 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 the river of death yes, it's a tradition only but there you cannot use any money uh, it's a tradition because somehow sometimes it could be possible in this way that this transfer yes to the subtle body the energy containing this coin yes to transfer to the subtle body so the dead person is not using the coin, but the energy of money in the coins. But it's very complicated, so don't worry. It's an old tradition. This self endowed with much less joy, yes, with a, an upama, an upama, yes, there's nothing upama, nothing like this, yes, much less joy. Reside this. The same cell with a much less joy resides, yes, antar, antar varti, reside inside, yes, in all the beings, Sarva Buddha. How? As their innermost perfect eye caution, yes, at the sham, yes, there. Antar purna ahantaya, like the internal antar and perfect ahantaya eye caution. Okay, for now it's enough, 29 today so around 15 every day so we can reach in six days in four more days we can finish it's at this speed it's more complicated than other frame i don't remember well but some part is complicated i need to expand okay nothing else for today this is the, the end of the for the video this is the end of the second day of this seminar my third day in india is my third day in Ganeshpur, the holy land of my lineage Bhagavanitananda, Swainitananda, and uh, we are having a, a 
know, I'm spending a great time here in India and learning a lot and practicing a lot. After the break, a uh, arati is will chant. Om Namah Shivaya. Yeah. 